everyone, Dan here at Fnatic with August's most exciting gear. Before I delve into it, I did want to give a huge congratulations to Martin Mays of GT's factory racing team. He just took back-to-back -back wins, first at the EWS race in Whistler on his enduro bike, and last weekend at the final round of the Downhill World Cup in La Bresse, France. It's an insane race to watch. If you haven't seen it, check out the highlights on Pink Bike. He pretty much dominated the field, especially in one particularly rowdy section. Very cool to see. Phenomenal rider, phenomenal biking. Congratulations, Martin Mays. That does lead us nicely into this GT Force that I have sitting right next to me. This is the alloy model, so it doesn't have the carbon front triangle that the one that Martin was riding does, but it is identical geometry-wise. The whole rear triangle is the same etc. This is the Force Comp and is the first of the GT bikes sort of trickling in. I now have the Force Comp and the Force Elite in stock. Both these bikes are $3,000 or less and come with a component spec that I would be happy to ride. Especially if you're just getting into biking, something like this will give you a really awesome platform to build upon, especially as you, you maybe take a spill and break something, you can upgrade it and replace it. Check these out. We are going to have a lot more info on these bikes coming down the line, so stay tuned for that. Moving on, if you've been watching our exciting gear videos for a while, you might remember last year I did, last August actually, I did a video on how to get gear off your back and onto your bike. I covered this little Dynaplug Micro Pro, which is a tubeless tire plug kit. It allows you to quickly and easily plug a gash in your tire. It's really quick and really useful, but racers in particular were asking for something even faster, enduro racers who oftentimes do get a flat and can have the, take the time to fix it, albeit quickly, during their run. This one has a small and a large tire plug. They do have these little metal tips, so you just find the gash on your tire, push it in, pull it out, the tip keeps it in there and it keeps it from ripping out while you ride, and you're on your merry way. Super cool product, a little bit less expensive than the Micro Pro. Check it out on our site. Obviously will fit into any sort of strap you have on your bike, like in that other video where I covered all the different ways to affix things. So check that out. Moving along, I've got the all new TLD Stage Helmet. This is sort of another enduro focused product. These pedalable helmets, like more aggressive, Trail bike helmets came into vogue along with Enduro. A lot of them feature removable chin bars. A few lately have had chin bars that do not come off and they feature these huge vents all over to keep you know, airflow coming in so that you're able to breathe comfortably as well as tons of vents all around to keep you cool. Things I like about this particular model are obviously the ever-present Moto kind of influence from TLD. One of my favorite features of any helmet is this Fidlock buckle, which uses magnets to really quickly and easily pull the two sides together. You can makes it really easy to do with gloves on or if your fingers are cold. Obviously, the MIPS inner liner, as well as the two different densities of foam that some helmets have been, helmet manufacturers have been including, which has a harder density foam on the exterior and then a softer one on the inside, and that just makes these helmets safer for you if you were to crash. I really like the idea of this helmet featuring a chin bar. I recently took a spill and degloved my jaw, which is what the ER doc kept calling it as he was pulling pieces of leaves and pine bristles out of my face. Highly recommend looking into something like this if you kind of like riding quickly, especially if you're racing, riding aggressively. Check it out. As always, with our apparel and protection orders, if you get the wrong size, just send it back to us as long as you haven't ridden it on trail yet and we will get you the proper size at no cost to you. That does it for August's exciting gear. I do have to apologize for missing last month's July's gear. Myself and a couple coworkers went up to Retallic Lodge with a couple forces and a Sensor GT's 130mm Travel 29er and spent a few days riding these bikes, getting to know them, getting a whole bunch of really cool content that is going to start coming down the line here very soon, I believe later this week. So if you haven't subscribed, 
do so now. You can click the button below. If you have any questions about any of these products, GT bikes, Dynaplug in general, any of these helmets, I did a review on the Bell Super DH that I use. Fortunately, I was not wearing my chin bar when I took a spill. You can let us know. You can also always give us a phone call at 1-844-FANATIC. That's 1-844-326-2845. Or shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Dan. Thank you.